Hello, Vanessa Borelli and Ashley Strickland here. Today we will be exploring Jamboard. Teaching in a socially distant classroom can be a little difficult when it's hard to see or hard to hear sometimes. Jamboard is a digital interactive whiteboard that can be used in a classroom filled with plexiglass to engage students in collaboration and academic instruction. Having a hard time hearing or seeing your students? Are your students having a hard time hearing or seeing you? Well, Jamboard is an excellent tool to get your students motivated and engaged in the learning material. Learning material can be hard to see around the classroom these days. With Jamboard, you can put your material right on a screen. We are going to look at some ideas on how you can use Jamboards and then we're going to explore how to create a Jamboard and what you can do with a Jamboard. Here's how you could use Jamboards in a primary classroom or elementary. Some ideas include word building, small group instruction, science and social studies instruction, standards, star students, exit slips, in an elementary school classroom, just a regular whiteboard so the students can see what you're writing. Agendas, math instruction, daily schedules, and star students, and more. Let's create a Jamboard. First, you're gonna need to open a new tab in Google. You're gonna go to the waffle in the upper right-hand corner. Scroll down until you see the orange and yellow music note. Select Jamboard. When Jamboard is selected, in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see an orange plus sign. Click on that orange plus sign. Voila! You've created your very first Jamboard. You're going to want to give your Jamboard a name. Click on the Untitled Jam and name your Jamboard. Okay, now you're all set. Let's explore some Jamboard features. Jamboard can be interactive or just used for viewing pleasure. But to use Jamboard features, here are some options. First, Jamboard has assistive drawing tools. To use the assistive drawing tools, you'll click on the pen option. When you click on the pen icon, Options will pop up to use a pen, marker, highlighter, or a brush. An eraser is also available if you want to erase your mistakes. With Jamboard, you can use your move tool. To click on the move tool, you'll click on the mouse to move objects around on your Jamboard. Click on the item that you want to move around and it will move. Another feature of Jamboard is the sticky note. Sticky notes are this icon over here. To create a sticky note, you'll click on the sticky note icon. You can choose the color, make it clear, you'll type in the text box, click save, and it will be added to the background. Click off and you've created a sticky note. You can change the size, rotate it, and when you click on the three dots, you can edit, duplicate, delete, or even change the order so they can stack on top of each other. You can also add an image. To add an image, you'll click on Add Image. You can select images from your computer, URL, Google search. All you'll do is type in what you want. Click on the image that you would like to insert. Click insert. And voila, you have a picture. Another option is to add shapes. Click on the shape button. If you click the arrow, there are other different shapes. 
Choose the shape that you would like to add. Draw it in the space. You can change the outline and the middle. With Jamboard, you can also add text. Select the text tool, draw a text box, add words, You can change the size, the color, the position, and the shape. With Jamboard, you can also use a laser pen. This is great for highlighting, but not marking up your page. It will disappear. You can also set a background. To set a background, you click on Set Background. You can use their own presets, or you can select an image. You can select it from any way that you have an image or what image you would like. Search your image. Select the image that you would like to insert, and it will set it as the background. This is great for when you want the students not to move anything around on the background or you want stationary items. With Jamboard, you can also see your slides. By clicking at the top, you can scroll and see what slides you have created. You can move slides around. You can add slides in between and click on three little dots. You can duplicate or delete a slide. Jamboard offers 20 slides per jam. Jamboard also offers other features. Clicking on the three dots, you can name it, download it as a PDF, save the frame as an image, remove them, make a copy for others to use. To share a Jamboard, you click on Share. Jamboards can be interactive or they can just be for viewing pleasure. To change these settings, you'll click on the Change button. You can change it to who you want it to go to. Or over here, you can change if you want it to be a viewer or editor. To make it an editor, this will mean that the people that you share it with can use the tools that just were described. You can share your Jamboard by copying the link. You can add it to your Google Meet. You can add it to your Google Classroom, Seesaw, anywhere that your students can link and pick up the link to use Jamboard. How do you plan to use Jamboard in your classroom? Don't forget to check us out and follow us. It's been a Jamboard good time.